Hi girls, it's me Ria and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my review of the Elegant Pro BB Cream. So if you guys want to know, then please keep on watching. This is how the Elegant BB Cream looks like. It comes in this black tube packaging. Uh, it retails for rupees 650 each and uh, it is available in 8 different shades which is a very good thing. So when it comes to BB creams and CC creams in India, it is mostly available in maximum one to two shades. Uh, one would be for the fairer skin tones and the other one would be for the wheatish skin tones. Uh, and most of the times I have seen that, you know, the ones meant for the wheatish skin tones do not even suit, uh, you know, us. Like particularly if I talk about myself, I have used I think almost all the CC creams and BB creams and now be it Lacme, Maybelline, uh, in Veda, whatever, you know, till date I have never found a BB or a CC cream that actually matches my skin tone. So that is why I do not prefer using any BB or CC cream until now, of course. So I had really high expectations with this BB cream and I must say that all my expectations were fulfilled and I let you know the reasons why they were. So yeah, starting off with the claims, Elegant claims this uh, to be an all-in-one skin beautifier. It also claims that it primes, moisturizes and enhances skin and it is also paraben and fragrance free. So let's start with the claims. First it primes. Uh, well I do not have you know open pores so I cannot really comment whether it you know minimizes the open pores or not but yes post application my skin does feel a lot more smoother so yes, uh, whether it moisturizes, well as you know, guys know I have like very dry skin and this BB cream actually you know gives me such a beautiful dewy finish. It looks way more dewy than I actually would want it to be and that is why all, I always have to set it with a loose powder. So if you're someone who has an oily skin type then you would definitely require a you know compact which you would need to apply it over this BB cream to set it. Otherwise it will look very dewy which mm, I, I mean I personally do not like. So yeah it definitely moisturizes. It enhances skin. Yes, it does give an even finish to the skin. The coverage is somewhere between light to medium, okay? But when it comes to coverage, it also depends on how you are applying this product, okay? So suppose if you just take this product on your hand and just massage it onto your skin, you will get somewhere from a sheer to light coverage. Okay, but if you want a bit more coverage like somewhere between light to medium then what you need to do is you need to apply this with your fingers on your face and then you can just take any sponge whether it's a beauty blender or a pack sponge or any other sponge damp it a little and then just press it onto your skin like this so this is the pack sponge that I use mostly so what I do is after I apply it onto my face I just press it onto my skin like so what this does is that it does not you know spread the product all over my face because when you do that you will not get a good coverage but when you actually press this onto your skin like this you are making sure that the product you know settles over there so you know the kind of coverage that you get from this technique is way more better than when you just you know apply it like a cream so yeah when you apply it like this it will definitely give you almost a medium coverage however having said that i would also like to mention that if you are someone who has like severe acne spots then this may not cover it okay because this is a bb cream it is not a foundation that can cover everything up but the kind of coverage that this bb cream gives you is definitely way above than all the bb and cc creams out there in the market Now when it comes to the longevity of this uh, BB cream, since it already has a dewy finish, after 4-5 to five hours I did feel my T-zone getting a little oily and that's when I felt the need to you know just blot it with a tissue or you know just um, mattify it again using a press powder. So definitely you will need a little bit of touch ups post say I think 4 or 5 hours you will definitely need touch up. Yeah those were the things that I actually wanted to talk about this product and now we'll just uh, jump straight into the demo. 
So as you can see, I do not have anything on my face. I've not even applied concealer. So right now I'll be applying the LA Girl BB Cream on the right side of my face. And on the left side, you can see the difference. Now if you see my right side, it, this BB cream has definitely managed to give me an, an even base and the finish of this BB cream is such that it is very dewy. So I have dry skin but still I feel that it's a little extra dewy on me. So I cannot just simply leave this BB cream as it is and go outside. I, I would like to set it with a loose powder. So whether you have dry skin or oily skin, you cannot just apply this BB cream and move out of the house. You would need to set it with a loose powder, especially if you have oily skin. So I have just applied the BB cream right here and now I'm going to set it with the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Compact and I'll just show you the effect. So I finally set the BB cream with the compact. Now if you can see, it does manage to give me a light to, I would say kind of a medium coverage, which is definitely buildable. Now if you see my under eye area, I have here not even applied any corrector, but still after I applied the BB cream and I after I set it with a loose powder, the dark circles is looking a tiny little bit less than here. So for it, if you're looking for a good everyday BB cream that does not feel too cakey on your skin or it does not feel like you've applied anything on your skin then Elegol is a perfect BB cream it gives you the right amount of coverage without looking you know like you have something on your skin so that was all about the Elegol Pro BB cream guys if you have any other questions uh, regarding this product then please do mention it in the comments below and i'd be sure to answer them and uh, yeah that's it for today guys i hope you really like this video and if you did then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i shall see you all in my next video until then bye bye